On this week's boiler tip, we're going to take a look at refractory. Refractory is included almost any boiler and it's got a couple different jobs to do, so we're going to take a look at that and uh, get a little better understanding on it. Um, when we're firing a boiler, we've got a lot of heat obviously coming from a burner and if we've got metal on the boiler that's not protected, uh, a lot of times it'll be protected with refractory. So in this case, we've got a refractory plug for access in and out of the boiler. Um, and that's usually, you know, four to six inches thick with anchors, etc. cetera. Um, but the reason that is there, that aluminum block, is to keep heat from the flame from penetrating this metal and making a glowing red disc on the back of your boiler. Now we've got other metal inside the boiler that's exposed to flame as well, but the difference with those surfaces is that surface, the outside of the tubes, those are all protected by heat transfer. So when we've got a proper water level in the boiler, we're generating steam or heating water, we're carrying heat away from the metal and that protects this metal. But in the rear of the boiler, we don't have any heat transfer here, so that's where the refractory is critical. But to keep the refractory in place through the expansion and contraction of operation and um, preserve its integrity, it's got to be anchored in place. So we can see here that when this refractory was poured in, there are actually tacked anchors in the back of that plate so that as that expands and contracts, it can't move forward and fall out and allow that to overheat. It's important not to underestimate the importance of that because when we make a refractory repair we want it to be as permanent as possible. Now another spot that refractory is critical is in the burn. So here we've got throat tile and if we look at where it is relative to the rest of the boiler we do have water on the outside of this to carry heat away. So why is this tile important? Well the flame as it burns radiates heat and if too much of that heat is pulled away too soon, we won't have good combustion. So the shape and heat feedback of this refractory makes the flame stable, um, quiet, and lets the boiler run efficiently. We're gonna take a closer look at the geometry of burner refractory. Now, this isn't math class, but it is very important when we've got refractory supporting a flame that that refractory have the proper throat angle, the proper depth, and the proper formation um, relative to the gas orifices and whatnot within the burner. And if you replace that or you patch that and we're not matching those factory specifications, which will be different on almost every burner, um, if we don't match the design of that burner, we're going to have rumble, we're going to have noise, we're going to have problems.